Good morning, 9.37 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on this Saturday, December 17th, 2022. I'm XRP Future Millionaire, and I reside in the great state of Michigan. I want to thank everybody for the birthday wishes as I've got an onslaught of birthday wishes when I woke up this morning. It's my 39th birthday today. I'm going to be having a birthday party here, not mainly focused on me. Um, Julie's brother's birthday is on the exact same day as mine. He's just four years older than me. So, Jeremy, if you're listening, happy 43rd birthday. And once again, I thank everybody for the birthday wishes. And I got exactly what I was hoping for for my birthday. We've had a small little rally this morning. But we had a nice dump yesterday. And uh, made me feel real good for my birthday. Bitcoin's at 16678 So only up 45 points on this return rally. And it looks atrocious. Looks like we could be getting a minor rejection here to start Saturday morning. 16,700 is where you kind of want to stay above here. Just because it looks so, so bad right now. And we did hit this downtrending support. And I would, I would anticipate a return rally down to about 16,500 if uh, we can't find any market or uh, broader market support. Because it looks very bearish right now. We just don't have that follow through right now. Even on the 20 day and the 5 minute, we're still getting rejected. Trying to find any kind of follow through here, and we're just not getting it. So, this could be a bearish weekend. I'd say our our better than not, we're going to come down to like sixteen thousand three hundred, assuming we can't break out of here. And right now, we've had several hours and we haven't been able to do it. So now we're going to see if we can hold sixteen thousand five seventy eight more than likely. XRP three five two five. Haven't had much of a rally. No volume on the return rally either. Like, if you look at the dump volume, this is all you need to know. 3.315 million in the 30-minute on the dump. And then the candle before that, we had uh, 3.315, 1.612. And then when you look at the up rally... I just want to make sure. Let's see. We got 279,606,000. That's nothing. That's not even half. It might have been half. And then on this volume, trying to push over, 317,000. That's not going to get it done. We need some significant volume to come in because this looks like another bear flag. It looks no different than it did. Boom, down, back up a little bit. Boom, down, back up a little bit. Now are we going to consolidate and crash again? That's what we're looking for this morning. It looks very bearish. First things first, though, if we can get back over 355, that's our first level. That's our first resistance level over the top. Then you've got 371. If you break down from here, like for me, the main areas of concern right now is 335, the 318, and the 287 right now. Those are the three areas of the 319, however you want to play it. That I think are the real big areas of concern. 307 is a big one we're going to have to break eventually. But these are all areas that are going to have to eventually break. I think in the long term though we're going down much farther. My buyback plan I've been asked a million times. Like this is the best chart I can show you. This is the USDT or the USD perpetual futures chart. This is how we broke the bull flag. And we came back down and retested the bear flag. And now we're right back inside of it. And we came all the way down to 345. Now we're ranging between 345 and 355, or 356, however you want to look at it. If this breaks and we continue to the next level, these levels, when this bear flag breaks, that's when very, very tricky stuff can happen. You can see this descending triangle all the way up at the top is about 40 cents. All the way at the bottom is right at 345. I mean, that 345 once that gives. Then we got 335. So that's what you're looking at this morning. Don't overlook it. Keep it simple. XLM is well beneath here now after this bear flag. We even had a nice little drop again last night where we dropped from 7.9 down to 7.2. And now the best we can hope for is 7.74 if we could even make it back up there. But there's no guarantee that we're going to find the volume to break back over here and get back over the 7.82 level. That volume is so atrocious and so low that it's a problem. We've got lower support down at 0633 if the case happens that we end up falling back there. But the earlier support is at 0714. So watch 0714 if we do break down. And if we break that, much bigger drop to come. And then, did you bear? Did you bear? 
at 830. We're going to get rejected, it looks like, at 842. This pattern doesn't look ready to reverse back up. It looks like this would be your common rejection at the 200 day, and then we can continue down likely to 746. That's what it's looking like to me this very early morning. Well, not very early morning, but this um, thinly traded weekend, I should say. Yeah, 842 looks pretty congruent. And then if it can uh, break that 873. But other than that, we're coming back down to 802. And ultimately, down below that for DGB, as I just shown. And we're come back down here and retest the 747 area. So that's what I'm looking at this morning. That's what I'm feeling. I'm XRP Future Millionaire. Make sure to hit that like button. Turn that bell notification to all. Subscribe to the channel if you're new returning. Make sure to look at my previous content. Stay up to date. Click on more. And you can join Tom's Army. Send me a birthday gift. Join Tom's Army. As this show is sponsored by the 214 members of Tom's Army. I don't take any special interest. I don't take paid advertising or paid promotions. And I don't like to have someone tell me what I have to say, when to say it, how to say it. No special interest. So to the 214 members of Tom's Army that allow me to do this legit, I greatly appreciate you. If you want to send me a birthday gift, join Tom's Army. Send me a super thanks. I'd greatly appreciate it. Two, five, or ten, fifty, up to you. And then obviously, join me on Max C, buy XRP, no VPN, no spot fees, no KYC. Futures trade up to 200X. And I suggest you do that so you can buy your spot um, crypto, no spot fees, and then you can buy and sell it, and there won't be any fees attached to it. Then you can send it wherever you want. Hashtag the FUD stops here.